Hello friends and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll take a look at the different methods to play City Skylines 2 on your Mac. The methods that will be explained next are Boosteroid, GeForce Now, Parallels, and Bootcamp. Let's get started. Cloud gaming services let you stream the game over the internet, so you don't have to download it, making this an ideal method if you're short on storage space don't have a powerful Mac, or simply want a straightforward option that's easy to set up and use. The downside is having a bad internet connection, or being far from the cloud gaming servers, that can negatively impact your experience, causing lag, stuttering, and decreased visual quality. An important thing to consider here is that not all cloud gaming services support all game stores for a particular game. With Boostroid, the game's image quality is capped at 1080p and 60 frames per second, but whether you actually get that depends on your internet. The service automatically diminishes the game's visual quality to keep the performance smooth if you're experiencing connectivity disruptions. Since your experience with Boostroid is entirely determined by the stability of your connection to its servers, we recommend testing your connection on their website. To run the connection test, follow the link below the video to the Boostroid site. Then register or use the Google Sign Up option, and once you're logged in, click the Network Test button at the top. This will give you a general estimation of the performance you can expect when gaming through Boosteroid. But note, even if you get only two bars, this doesn't necessarily mean that the game will be unplayable. We tested Boosteroid with such a connection, and while there was occasional decrease in image quality and some stuttering, the experience was still mostly okay for casual gamers. Needless to say, anything above two bars is great for pretty much any game. If you decide to try the service after testing your connection, first go to the profile page, click subscribe, and start your subscription. Once you're subscribed, type the game's name in the search bar at the top, click on the play button, and click on OK Let's Go. Finally, enter your username and password for the respective game store, and the game will load inside your browser. For an even smoother gameplay, we recommend using a dedicated Mac OS app that you can download from its site. But if you still prefer to play directly from the browser, we recommend Chrome and Firefox as the service seems to work best with these two. To start the game in GeForce Now, click again the link in the description, register on the GeForce Now site, and choose the subscription plan you think is best for you. Then visit the site's download section and download GeForce Now for Mac OS and install it. After that, launch the app and log in. Search for the game, click it, select the store where you own the game, and click play. An automatic internet connection test will be performed, after which you can begin playing. If you get warned that your internet isn't good enough, you can ignore that warning and still play the game, but you may experience lag and stuttering. Aside from cloud gaming, there are a couple alternative methods you can try, but we can't really recommend them at the moment. The first of them is to use Parallels to create a virtual machine and run the game inside it. This technically works, but there are two big issues here. The first is that the game itself is very poorly optimized, to the point where even powerful gaming PCs are struggling with it. The second problem is that running the game in a VM only lets your Mac use a portion of its resources for the game. The end result is very bad performance, even on high-end Apple Silicon machines, such as the M1 Max MacBook Pro or a Mac Studio. After City Skylines 2 gets an optimization update, this might change and Parallels might become a viable option, but for now, we recommend using cloud gaming. That said, if you own such a high-end Mac and you're willing to give Parallels a try, here's what you can do. To set up Parallels Virtual Machine, start by clicking the Parallels link in the description and downloading the app. Next, install the app, open it, and click on the Install Windows option. After some loading, a Windows Virtual Machine will be created on your Mac. To access it, you'll first need to create a Parallels account or choose one of the sign-up options. Here's where you need to choose whether to purchase the app or to use the 14-day free trial. We recommend the second option as it lets you test the waters and see if you're satisfied with the gameplay experience through Parallels. Once in the Windows VM, starting the game is a simple matter of downloading the respective game launcher, installing the game, and starting it as if you're on a Windows PC. Like Parallels, Bootcamp should work in theory, but in practice the problem with the method is the high system requirements of City Skylines 2, as well as its poor optimization. Bootcamp lets you install Windows on your Mac in a separate partition and run any Windows software, but it only works on Intel Macs. The issue here is that there's almost no Intel Mac-based models with GPUs powerful enough to run City Skylines 2. 
If you have a Mac Pro or maybe a high-end iMac with a decent graphics card, this method might work for you, but for everyone else, it's not something we recommend. Yet, if you want to give it a shot, here's a description of the entire process. To use Bootcamp, first download a Windows 10 64-bit file from Microsoft, and then go to your Utilities folder and start the Bootcamp Assistant tab. Load the Windows file in it and give enough space for the Windows partition, leaving at least 20 gigabytes for your Mac OS, and then launch the installation. Your Mac will restart, and then you must follow the prompts to install Windows. Once you get the product key screen, simply click I don't have a product key option to continue. Once Windows is finally ready, update your drives and install any missing Windows updates, and you're ready to go. All that's left to do at this point is to download the game like you would on a regular Windows PC, and it should run without any compatibility issues. Two more methods we tested are Crossover and Apple's Game Porting Toolkit, but like many other users who tried these two, we didn't get the desired results. We encountered various errors and crashes, no matter what settings we tried, so the game can't be played this way at the moment. It seems like City Skylines 2 could theoretically run using these tools, but first there will need to be an update to the tools and possibly a custom fix. If we learn that it's become possible to play City Skylines 2 using Crossover or the Game Porting Toolkit, we'll provide a link to a custom guide in the pinned comment. So those were all the methods for playing City Skylines 2 on Mac that we found and tested. We hope that this video will help you have fun on your Apple machine. Tell us in the comments if you tried any of the suggested methods and share your experience with them. Also, if you have any questions or need help with any of our guides, don't hesitate to request our aid and we'll help you to the best of our abilities. For more similar guides and other Mac gaming content, smash the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.